we're here at the hotel. Excuse moi, here's our room. We have a bunch of mirrors, classic. I don't know what this is. Keep it fun. <laughs> it's just like a weird cushion on both beds. Um, let's see, where is the bathroom? I do not know. Oh. Oh, wow. This is so, Laura, look, literally the shower opens right here on its own. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom. And then the toilet is a separate room. This is where Laura and I are staying. A little bit more on these weird cushions. We have a set of instructions that says, keep it fun, open your phone, turn the flash on, take a photo. Ooh. This is what the pillow looks like when the flash is on. That is so cool. Here we are, Trafalgar Square. Just doing our little London things. That looks fantastic. Yorkshire pudding wrap. And then right next door, chocolate fountain. All right, this is kind of where the money's at, I feel like. Okay, so we're gonna walk around, explore the immediate area. Take away your insecurities There's nothing you can be So let me say to you what you mean to me I like the way you work it I like the way you move I like the way you dance This whole thing, it just doesn't end. It, it hasn't stopped, there's just more and more. Every corner return, another show. I, actually, that's not even a show, they're just people eating. It's so cool, it's so happy and festive, but it's like the perfect temperature outside, so it's not like we're freezing cold. Okay, I think I like London. Never mind, there is a show. It is this one man show. He's killing it. Apparently, this is some book. It was my dad's like favorite book as a kid, and now they have a store. Oh, right, we have to go in. Oh, I just took a selfie with the sign. Okay, let's just check it out. I've, I've never heard of this this book. We're trying to remember the plot. Seems like there's two guys. Oh, a plushie. Plushie Moomin. Ooh, let's see if there's a book you can skim through. Yeah. London Transport Museum. And then I'm seeing some Harry Potter signs. Uh, I can't remember in Harry Potter. Is like, this is the era where he was theoretically transporting to Hogwarts? I don't know. I, you know what? It may be. Because, yeah, he would get on to platform nine and three fours. <laughs> I don't know, now that it's almost Christmas time, I need to rewatch all the Harry Potters. We thought this was TJ Maxx, but it's TK Maxx. Okay, mom, that one's for you. And another alley we must go down. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's another Frozen promotion. That quote that says, the cold never bothered me anyway, is like a quote from Frozen. We don't know why they're doing so much Frozen promotion in this area. Hi, we're so excited for the Frozen movie. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. Oh, oy, oy, oy. oh, this is a black telephone booth. I haven't okay, seen one of these. Picture that. Another picture. All right, we're gonna go into Lululemon to see if they have a shirt that says London in it. Not to buy anything that we could just get in America, though. Um, feeling is the gift. Okay, popping into the barber store because at some point 
My dad's looking to buy a barber jacket here while we're in London. Oh my god, Barber by Paddington? That is too cute. So we're just gonna browse for now. Yet another Christmas market. Okay. A little out of control. Basically, we stumbled onto an identical oh, replica of the last Christmas market. Yeah, total. <laughs> yeah. So this is like Bryan Park and Union Square. <laughs> yeah. Same, same, but different. That still looks amazing. Okay, this is new. This is new from the last place. Oh my god. It actually does not seem sanitary. Oh, look at these marshmallow twists. <gasps> Oh my god, Dad, look at this gigantic black licorice. This is really a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh my god. The Nutella's straight in there. Oh my god. Okay, we're we're posting up in the corner. We have to eat this in private. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> Stop. Here we go. Oh my god. I got all Nutella in that bite. Deja vu. <laughs> mm. Okay, we're off to Chinatown. We're gonna go look for some quick dumplings to eat before our show tonight. We're gonna go see Mamma Mia and then get dinner afterwards. That's the rundown. I know it's just been a lot of chaotic shopping, <laughs> Christmas village vlogging, but now we're finally going to eat something and settle down. Laura, by the way, is napping in the room. The jet lag's hitting her hard because we effectively didn't get any sleep last night. So she's basically having a full night's sleep while we are out and about sharing a giant thing of churros, which was delicious, but you know, classically too much. Okay, this is all looking good. Well, I, it's strange. I definitely wanted those too. Dun, 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 dun. Just walking through a little park, trying to walk off our Chinese food. Oh, another great statue over here. Okay, currently we're walking through unnamed park. Still don't know which way to turn to cross the street. We're going towards Big Ben. I don't know guys, some clock thing. We're in the Royal Parks. This little guy, this little eye. Not sure what this huge building is. <laughs> We're being real, real life tourists right now. Just sightseeing, but actually the fall foliage, gorgeous. And the air is so crisp and fresh right now. Actually so big. <laughs> And kind of pink. Yeah. Well, it was Churchill's bunker that he used during World War II, and this is where he orchestrated most of his war plans. What? In there? Oh. Okay, to carry on our London tour, over to the right, we have Westminster Abbey. Basically, my dad just tells me all these things and I repeat them, but that's where William Shakespeare, Isaac Newton were buried and married. That's the place to be. Not right now, but you know, if you're doing something big. The House of Parliament. Okay, this is like a live guided audio tour. Oh, that's Big Ben? Under construction? Yeah, refurbished. How are we supposed to know what time it is? Very neat. I like these little crosswalk guys. It's like in Paris, they're so cute. We stopped on the River Thames. Dad took a picture, got a better view of London Eye. It's actually much bigger in person than I thought and that's basically it. We are consistently walking on the wrong side of the road and path so that's been fun but we'll just keep our little walking tour audio guided by this one going. Okay here's a little bit of a better shot of the big old clock. Beware horses may kick or bite you. That's fair. Uh, barns. Horse barns. Oh, they're like actual functioning stables. Okay, they actually are. Where, yeah, someone's like in there. There are actual guards. Oh, look at this. So this is the guards on parade. <clears throat> oh, this is a cool, ominous tunnel. We just stopped to watch this thing of ramen noodles. JC! Alright, 
am back and just going to open this mirror and take a shower. Um, the shower actually looks really cool. Love a good rainfall shower. But I haven't showered since getting off my flight this morning and I am such a greaseball. Here's Lou. She took a nap and now she is like immediately woke up and started working. I don't know what is up with that. Um, but that is it. Then we're gonna get ready to go see the show Mamma Mia tonight and get dinner. I literally just took a two hour nap in my like wet towel, like came out of the shower, to, got into bed in my wet towel and just fell asleep. But I'm awake and we are getting ready to go to the show. Someone from the hotel just dropped off this like welcome fruit in water for uh, our dad, but we're eating all of it. <laughs> Oh, it was cute. It was nice. Um, it's getting kind of cold out, so I'm gonna wear these long corduroys, long sleeves. We're gonna get out of here in a minute. Just gonna go get a drink at the bar. That's fine. <laughs> On. We're just into the I thick of it. <laughs> oh, this is so congested. It's like literally worse than Times Square. Like Times Square. Yeah, literally the M&M World, the Lego Store. This is Times Square. Oh, it is so busy. Good job, Lou. Just keep mushing forward. Handle how crowded every street has been for the past 20 minutes. Oh my god. I guess it's a Saturday night, but even in New York City, it's not packed like this. Like, restaurants are packed, but not the streets. Oh, yeah. All right, Laura's a little hungry because she actually has not eaten yet today. Because she was napping all day while we were getting snacks. These are the same streets we walked earlier, but they're just so massively packed. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Okay, we just popped into a random little patisserie to get an escargot pistachio bun and a turkey cheese sandwich to hold us over with ketchup to hold us over before Mamma Mia. Hey, guys. We're in the theater. And Dad said that we had partial view seats, but we are actually in the front row, like the literal front row of Mamma Mia. The literal front and second row. This is crazy. Okay, it's pretty quiet. That is unbelievable. Laura's back from the little bar run. She got four bottles of baby Prosecco. <laughs> Why is mine all folks? The orchestra pit? The stage? The set? So you don't want to go? Just pick your It's so cool. A little intermission. Intermission ice cream. That was such a fun show. We just finished. It was so much fun. At the end, they just performed a bunch of ABBA songs, and the, it was like the entire theater was a sing-along dance party. I don't know. And then we were walking home, and we saw open seats at the bar at Balthazar. So we're here. We ordered a bunch of food. Water champagne. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Just gonna eat and go home. Guys. Just because you should prepare. I know, but they have some British candy in here too. Oh yeah. All right, we're back. We stopped at the candy store, an American candy store, where they advertised American candy being 50% off. But we just got candy we don't usually see. A Wonka bar. Duh. Win in, win in England. I, is that where Charlie and Chocolate Factory set? Space wafers, because these are delicious. I haven't seen them in this big of a package. Edible paper money. We basically ate a whole pack walking home. And then this Kit Kat flavor fruity cereal. But we're so full from Balthazar that we're not going to eat it right now. But this edible paper... It's actually really good. It has like a really light, sweet flavor, but just like a little, it feels like kind of thick rice paper. Like a wafer paper. This might be my new favorite candy. Mm, mm. Okay, anyways, we're going to bed. So, 
Good night.